Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Thursday, February 2nd, 2024. This is my pre-market report. Let's start off with this. So you and I are witnessing, I don't want to really say a phenomenon because you and I called this. We said it would happen and it is. That is, this market seems virtually unstoppable. We don't get pullbacks. We don't get corrections anymore. This thing just keeps going straight up. And for the most part, or I would say seriously for the most part, it's because the market realizes, as you and I do, that the Fed is going to start cutting rates. Now, if you recall, just yesterday we heard from the Federal Reserve about, oh, well, you know, maybe not, maybe so. This is nonsense. This is absolute garbage. The Federal Reserve, in case you don't know already, is on a fixed path here. They know exactly what's going on. They have set the stage for it. And they're going to start cutting rates May, June, most likely June. And this market is going, it's going to love it, um, honestly. And that's what's being priced in. Is it possible? Is it possible that come May, June, most likely June, when the Fed cuts rates, the market could drop? Sure. It's priced in. I believe that's what's going on. Now, The issue that you and I are looking at is uh, all the time it's the same thing when it comes to the market. It's the drivers, the drivers, the drivers. There is a sell-off going on here with regard to the debt market. The 10-year yield this morning is higher, 4.34, but the market seems comfortable here. You have to look at this entire thing in, 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 in its totality, and the market is sending you and I a message here. Regardless of risk in the market, which is rising, and the MMRI is 279 and change right now. 279 and change. What does that mean? Risk is pretty high right now. Um, But the market is shrugging it off. It just seems to be shrugging it off and shrugging it off. Why? It knows the Fed is on a fixed path. Understand, when you're hearing the nonsense from the propaganda ministry, the CNBC, the Bloombergs, the Fox Business, who are trying to convince you that the Federal Reserve is your best friend. Oh, they have your interest in mind here, people. Nothing could possibly be further from the truth. They are the enemy. They are public enemy number one. They are determined to destroy the world economy, to bring the consumer to its knees, create slaves to the system so they can roll out their new system. And that's what's going on. You all know this. We've spoken about this for 10 freaking years. Well, here we are. Um, So when you hear that stuff, I mean, just laugh it off if you have the displeasure of watching it. Um, The Fed, um, they're going to play their usual game. That is, you know, the back and forth nonsensical kind of rhetoric. But they're on a fixed path and the market knows it. You know it. I know it. Rate cuts are coming, period. Again, it comes down to a liquidity crisis at multiple levels here. All right. We know you and I, the Fed is pulling liquidity out of this market. Basically, actually, (laughs) let me put this another way. The Fed's repo program, you know what this is? I've covered this a gazillion times where they pass vast, vast amounts of cash between themselves, between itself and the major institutions here overnight, trying to trick the market that... It's more liquid than it is. The Fed is pulling that back. And you can see this. Just let your fingers do the walk and open up a search engine, Fed's repo, and you can see that they are scaling back. No coincidence, people, and you know this too, that war has broken out. War is expanding and will expand a lot more as the Fed is, again, uh, pulling back from their their charade, because that's all it is, to trick the market into thinking it's more liquid. But again, what they're doing here, war, war, uh, again, is this mechanism here that uh, demands that more debt be pulled into the now. Uh, There's no other endeavor on this earth that works like war to create a need for borrowed dollars. Should be pretty obvious, you know, with billions for this and tens of billions for that and this new uh, escapade that we have on. Now, in case you haven't heard, the Houthis have have actually declared war on the United States, um, and they are forbidding any uh, U.S. ships from entering 
the Red Sea and all that, that whole whole thing over there. And uh, it's not stopping. The attacks are going on. And it's kind of an interesting phenomenon to see where this is going to go. We know where it's going to go. And uh, it's uh, pretty obvious to me. Anyway, so just look at, again, the bigger picture. The bigger picture here is risk is rising in this market. And it's rising pretty fast. All right. The market seems to be shrugging this off. Stock futures are higher this morning, despite the fact that the 10-year yield is higher. Relative strength of the dollar is lower. As you all know, there is a compensatory mechanism with risk that exists between the 10-year yield and the U.S. dollar on a relative strength basis. This is all baked in to the MMRI, Manorino Market Risk Indicator. Link in the description below. Uh, free to everybody who wants to follow it. Um, anyway, so that's what's happening here. Market is uh, convinced as I am, and I'm sure you are. Most of you are. Some of you don't believe it. But again, you don't understand. For those who don't realize what's happening, it becomes difficult for them to understand why the Fed is going to cut rates in this environment where inflation continues to rise. Has, the Fed has no, absolutely no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? The Fed wants to keep inflating. Uh, as all central banks do, because that's where their power resides. And cutting rates here would allow them to do that even more so on the back of expanding war, which they fund at all. We don't have the cash for it. No developed nation on earth has a war chest. You know that. So all this funding for war and filling gaps and debts and deficits all comes from the central banks who are the government. Okay, everything else is just... Uh, it's just a shit show. Can I say that? <laughs> YouTube doesn't like certain words out here. Let's look at the market real quick. As I said, futures are higher, 10-year yield higher, the dollar on a relative strength basis uh, lower here. Crude oil is getting a bit higher. Gold and silver catching a bit. Crypto is doing okay. Bitcoin still about 51000 and change. That's where we stand. But in the grand scheme of things, what does it mean? What does this all boil down to for you and I here? Okay, we've got this covered from every single angle. And that's the truth here. This is why we're, again, betting against the debt, becoming our own central banks here. <laughs> we're not going to stop doing that here. Realizing that, do you think, here's the question of the morning. Uh, do you believe that there was the slightest chance on Earth, off Earth, or anywhere else that by some miracle, an act of God is going to take place and global debt is going to start to shrink and the power is going to be restored to the people here. Central banks are just going to go away like the dodo bird. They're going to become extinct. Or do you believe that all this is going to get monumentally worse moving forward here? It's greed. It's greed and a an unquenchable thirst for power via the central banks who are the government now of the world. That's what they have here. They're using you and me as a means to enrich themselves beyond anyone's wildest dreams. This is going to end very badly. Okay, I think this we're pretty clear on this for everyone. And I mean everyone. But there's going to be no winners here. Uh, obviously, the 1% and 2 percenters, they're always going to come out ahead from a financial standpoint. But, but as, as you and I have discussed multiple times, there is, um, we're all connected here in this world. Um, all of us are. And when something bad is happening in one part of the world, we all feel it. This is why I really believe things like, for, for example, we just covered recently addictions across the board, gambling addictions, drug addictions, prescription drug addictions, children on antidepressants. We all feel it. You understand? We all know there's something wrong. It's pretty much in our face, and you can't escape it. Even if you kind of try to disconnect yourself from this, um, and you're living in some kind of a fantasy land, believing that some kind of miracle is going to happen, and this is all going to change. This is something that's been going on since you know the beginning, since since Cain and Abel here. Okay, um, and people just they, they un they're unable to see what's going on. They're unable to 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 take things at face value, um, and again, everything is just plain hidden in plain sight. But because they have a false belief, they can't see it. They believe that something is going to occur at any moment that's going to all of a sudden bring them a utopian society or whatever it might be going to happen, people. Just just wake up to reality here, and I think you'll be a lot better off, um, honestly. 
Anyway, look, like I said, we got this covered. It doesn't matter what they do. But we need to keep our eyes on certain things, and we need to understand why they're occurring. For example, this 10-year yield, rising, 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 bonds selling off. What's going on here? Multi-billionaires here, CEOs of corporations here, senators selling off billions of dollars worth of stock. You know what that's all about. Told you yesterday. Um, so obvious. Anyway, look, with that said, people, look, we got this, you and me. And in my view, because we got each other, we got each other's backs, we... Um, we can't possibly lose. All right. I will see all of you later, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern for the live stream. I'm looking forward to that. We'll cover more of this stuff then. I do want to hear from you. Please comment. And well, that's it. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you later.